Hi everyone, welcome to part two of What Remains of Edith Finch. Settle in and enjoy the end of the story. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Oh, dude, there's something there. Don't jump off the cliff. <laughs> I don't know if I should even be writing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not thinking straight. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Who are we writing to? Do we know that? And the history you're a part of. Where are we going? Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not I lost. Think people in these stories. I'm never lost. For what that's worth. Just, just ignore what I said about ten seconds ago. I don't want to go down there. That looks dangerous. Look at the house. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness. Any of it seems possible. Open. Oh, it got dark. What this one? I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? <laughs> the Finch family. That's who. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. <gasps> Oliver! No! Three of the gerbils are mine. And two had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly, Calvin, Sven, Edie, Walter. Who's that? I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. <laughs> what is happening here? She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh, that's the old house! Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> what else would it be? Where are we going now? Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. What is that? She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Lewis. Sanjay. Okay, okay, okay. There's so many things. 
things I wish I could ask my mom now. I'm gonna go up that ladder. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. Be traumatized. And find everything out for myself. <laughs> Parents suck, man. Holy shit. Saving. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Get out of the fucking tree! I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot See in common. See if we're showing yet. They were both pretty intense. Okay. They spooky in here. Sam. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's I'm a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. <laughs> Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Dawn. Then we can take off. Where are you, Dawn? Oh, there she is. I took a picture of this place. <laughs> what? Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. <laughs> That's okay, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Oh, everything's out of focus. Right, Dad, it's starting to clear up. Oh! It's still freezing, though. We're taking pictures of trees. should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh, we can turn around. <laughs> Nothing quite like being outside. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? No. Eyes, Don. Ah! Cool. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Where are you? Dad?
But if you want to survive... Great shot, Don! Proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? What the? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's. That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> of all these stories. That's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. What the fuck? Uh... How? Oh, that... After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Gregory. Um. Divorce. Sam and Kay. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Sorry about that, 
Gregory? I know you did everything oh. you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. I wish you could have told us. But there will be some. Swim, it's inverted. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Sam. Well, that was a fucking roller coaster. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Gus. Who the hell is Gus? <laughs> A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Shouldn't do that, Gus. Yeah. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You make him cry. I crash my kite. <laughs> <laughs> into the couple. What am I doing? Can I go this way? Ah, there we go. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> you fucked, Dad! Flying my kite. No time for pictures. Wind picked up, and panic geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Oh, I had a pole. buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had too blinky. Shit. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. Man knows how to party. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Hmm. But I didn't, until we found you.
never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. See, that's what you do. You don't make your time, kids sleep across from their dead brother's shit. <laughs> this is slightly better parenting. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Cute. What India? Wait, my, was I, was I down up there? No. Gotta go back. Oh shit, Arma was the girl with the deer. Dawn. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Milton, Lewis, Edith. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. Well, I mean, it didn't have to. They just <laughs> sealed up all the bedrooms. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Fact or fiction? But it didn't last. Beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. I wonder if he's actually dead. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Oh, it's a flip book! How does it work? I 
was four when Milton disappeared. He he dis he disappeared into a painting. That that can't be true. Just like Molly can't turn into a cat. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Did she look in the painting? Because that's what the book said. <laughs> the book said he went in here. Did you look in there? That's where I would look. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh yeah, the salmon. Right? I remember. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. Got it. I got an achievement. For being a creeper, looking in all the peepholes. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. <laughs> Got it. Yay. We didn't do this. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh, I'm not good at my job. <laughs> he kept working at the camera. That one doesn't Shortly have a head. He withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... ...wander. Oh! Oh, this is cool! Did you do two things at once? I asked him to describe it. I'm playing a game. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Fish! But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. 
No more fish. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Where are we going? I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Doggo? He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Ah! Cool. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. songs for them to play. <laughs> he talked about starting a band. Oh man, he definitely started a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Fish! He no longer spoke. <laughs> I like all their arms. <laughs> but his chopping was as reliable as ever. Chop, chop, chop. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Yeah. It's not so real. he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Lewis Topia. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. This one. New Lewisville. Don't hit the rocks. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Now we're sailing, Mom. We got, we got cities to conquer. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Handsome queen. Oh, careful. The queen was on her own quest for... Uh... Rainbows, because otherwise we're gonna hit a rock. Radiant rainbows. <laughs> Whee! Oh, cool! We followed oh. the sound of her. Oh! Silver harp. Silver harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. Hey! He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh my god. Ah, oh, so many fish! Why didn't they give me so many fish at once? He was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. What's 
It's greater than a king. A god? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. That, that's he began him. to despise the man with a royal contempt. Finch. He's not even doing it right. <laughs> He's not even touching the fish. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. <laughs> Love it. Including the wise Calico who insisted on advising him. Molly! I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Oh. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. I never die. We'd stayed. But so, I understand why we left. Um, yeah, because this house is cursed. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. 
What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Oh my god, what happened? Ah, uh, what happened? Maybe you should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. This is my room? All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh, this is cute! Oh man, I would have loved this as a kid. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oh, I'm playing again. <laughs> the power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Oh shit. Just go in, get in there. This is where all the bodies are. Dude, having open candles on the floor in a library is a really bad idea. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. What? We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. History of the Finches. Dear Edith. There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Oh, we're going to the old house! It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. <laughs> you know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. We're gonna get stuck out when there. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. No. Where's the the Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? Oh my god, I spun in a circle and now I'm like legit lost. I got turned around. Oh my god. For a while. I wonder. Oh, this is horrible. I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Oh, or maybe it, I came back to them.
things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! Let go, let go, let go! Let go! Ah! I can scream, but... Well, we got the half we haven't read yet. <laughs> the way the book goes. We should have been fine, I never saw you know? Great Grandma Edie again. Damn it. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. Oh, I we love both tried to make the best of it. And then when you like hold your hand up, I can't, I don't know if I know how to do that. A few years <laughs> went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Um. I just want to meet you. And tell um, you all these stories myself. Um. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Um. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Milton. 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 What happened to you? He's the only one. And what happened to Lewis? How did Lewis die? I missed that. I'll have to go back and look. And then we don't, we, I guess we don't know how we died either. It's a mystery. Cursed. Oh! I got another achievement. <laughs> I got another achievement. Oh, Gregory! The, fu the, <laughs> the bath scene was really fun, though. It was super cute. Yet. I really, I really liked hitting people with the crutches. 
also a good time. Replay a story options now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. Oh, that's cool. So you can just, you can individually go through any of their stories. That's a fun little feature. I'm trying to think of which one was my favorite. Man, the, the Molly story was cool because I had no idea what was going on. Kind of like right at the start, you get to turn into different animals. The art style in the Barbara story with the comic book was fantastic. That was really fun. Really, really fun. <laughs> and Sam's story, when he got thrown off the cliff by the deer, legitimately scared the fuck out of me. I did not expect that at all. Like, oh my God. And then Gre Gregory in the bathtub with the frog. Huh. And then Milton. Milton is in the painting, guys. <laughs> He's got. <laughs> He's got a. <laughs> He's gotta be in the painting. It's the only thing that makes sense. All right. So now we did all the stories. So what I was talking about before, we hadn't done Lewis yet, but I went back and we did it. Man, Lewis's story is sad. What a really, really cool game. Well, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. This is my first YouTube exclusive content. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be doing more in the future. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for games similar to this, kind of indie, indie style games that I can complete in one sitting, narrative heavy, things that I typically wouldn't stream, um, let me know in the comments. Or you can join uh, my Discord and uh, let me know in there in the stream suggestions channel. Um, but otherwise, guys, thank you so, so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>